Hello and welcome to my Platinum Speedrunning Quest Guide series, where we play through each quest step by step alongside the speedrunning wiki guides to help you achieve your speedrunning goals. Today we are going to be running Prince Ollie Rescue, which has a platinum runtime of under 11 minutes. Throughout this run we will be using multiple shops, which I recommend using Runelite plugins to swap the left click to the buy option, as that will make this run entirely smoother. We will also be using the Giant's Foundry minigame teleport throughout this run as well. We can start this quest by talking to Chancellor Hassan and using option 1, and then option 1 again to start the quest. Afterwards, exit towards the courtyard and talk to Osman. Make sure you finish listening to the entirety of his dialogue before continuing, otherwise the quest will not begin. Run north and talk to Ali Morsain. You're going to buy two buckets, one bronze pickaxe, a pot, and a tinderbox. Run north towards the Varrock Mines, making sure that you're keeping to the west side. Go ahead and drink your stamina potion. Make sure that you keep your energy up around this run. It doesn't matter too much about how high and how low you keep your energy as long as you have run speed. Run left side of the signpost and in between the unicorns and the fences. Mine the Northwest Copper Rock, and using tick manipulation by using tuna, which is after every three ticks, if you do not successfully mine, eat a tuna to reset it so you can get it faster. Afterwards, go ahead and pluck a red berry to the north, and then head west. Run north of the Dark Wizards, and then don't worry about your HP too much, just keep on running west. Once you are past the Dark Wizards, keep heading west to the other side of the mines where you will start with a clay node. After you successfully mine the clay node, head over to the tin. After you successfully mine both nodes, head east and then north to the fine clothes shop where you will buy one pink skirt. Purchase one pink skirt and then head over to the Varrock General Store where you'll purchase one shear. After you have the shears, use the Lumbridge Home Teleport. Once we are in Lumbridge, use a bucket on the fountain. Run north towards the inn and use the bucket of water on the clay. Now that we have our soft clay, let's talk to the bartender and buy three beers using option one. And there we go, all three beers. And then talk to the woodsman tutor using option one to get an axe. Once the axe is in your inventory, Run north and use one of the ores on the furnace. After you pull out your bar, run northwest towards the sheep and start shearing some sheep till you have three wool. And then come out the way you came and then run towards the onion patch behind the farmers. Go ahead and pick two onions. After that, you're going to run northwest and get you some flour. Pick some wheat from out front. Run north towards the flour mill and climb up the ladder. 
climb up the second ladder, use the hopper, operate the controls, and go back down the ladders. Remember to grab your flower from the bin and then head outwards towards Draenor. We're going to take the southern western route. We're going to go behind the potato farm and towards the jail. Once we are at the jail, we will talk to Lady Kelly using option one. There we go. Talk to Lady Kelly. Option one. Followed by option one again. Option two. Option one. Option one again. And then once you have the key mold, go ahead and run towards this tree. Chop it down. Run towards the Lumbridge Courtyard. And once you're down the steps into the courtyard, go ahead and light a fire. Here we go. Light a fire. Run back to Osman, keeping your energy up. Run back to Osman in front of the Chancellors. Talk to Osman until the key print is out of your inventory, holding space. And then run back to the Lumbridge Castle to pick up your ashes. There's our fire from earlier, which has now turned into ash. Pick up the ash, and then climb up the staircase to the second floor of the Lumbridge Castle, where we will spin our wool into balls of wool. Here we go. Use the spinning wheel. Hold space. And then after you craft all three, head back down the stairs. Alright, going back down the staircase, we're going to exit out the back towards Draenor and talk to Ned. Old Man Sailor Ned. Cut through the prison if you would like. Health is not really important in this quest. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Ned using option 1, option 2, and then option 1. After you get the wig, trade Ned, buy a rope, head out the back and talk to Aggie. Add Aggie, use option 2, option 1. After that, use one of your onions on Aggie, hold space, and then run out. Use the yellow dye on the wig and talk to Leela. Hold space through that. Afterwards, you get the key, run back to the prison. Use your first beer on Joe. Keep using beers on Joe until all of them are gone. There we go. And then use a rope on Lady Kelly. Now that cinematic is over, open the prison gate and talk to Prince Ali. Holding space. After this, you are going to use your Giant's Foundry minigame teleport.
From the Giant's Foundry, you're going to run back to the Chancellor. There we go. Talk to the Chancellor. Once you're at the Chancellor, simply hold space and then you should have Platinum, Prince Ali Rescue. <laughs> 